Alrighty guys, so you want to flash that ROM on your Samsung Galaxy S4, let's go ahead and get started, but first you're going to need a couple of things, actually more specifically just one thing. Um, the ROM file itself, obviously. So of course, like always, I'll be posting a link in the description below so you can go head over to the XDA page and download the ROM. It's actually a really, really quick download, especially considering it's only about 300, just less than 400 megabytes. Uh, anyways, once you've got that file, go ahead and connect your device to your PC and then get into either your external storage, that being your micro SD card or your internal storage, and then just drag and drop that file onto your phone. Once that's happened, go ahead and power your device off and then we're gonna go ahead and boot into recovery. Alrighty, so to boot into recovery, what we're going to be needing to do is pressing and holding the power button, volume up, and home button all at the same time until we get to this magical screen right there. And as soon as you can see that blue writing, you can go ahead and let go if you like, just in case your fingertips are starting to hurt a little bit. And it should boot us into recovery. There it is. I'm using TWRP for this, though um, you guys might be using Clockwork Mod Recovery. I always recommend TWRP. So here we are. First things first, what you guys might want to do uh, is make an Android backup. So you would just go ahead into here and then just swipe and it would go ahead and back up your device. And this is just in case anything goes wrong. Perhaps you don't even like the ROM afterwards and you want to revert back to your older ROM. You can always restore um, by using this backup. Uh, if you did a backup and it's finished, um, we can go ahead and what we want to do is double check that we actually have the file on our device because the last thing we need to do is wipe our device clean before we flash the ROM, go to look for the ROM file, and the ROM file isn't there, and then you're going to be in a little bit of an issue. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm actually going to be plugging in my little doodad here, which is where I store my micro SD card, uh, which is basically using um, USB OTG. And I'm going to wait for the recovery to recognize that. There we go. So I'll go into install, and I'm actually, you guys in here are just going to be going into install most likely, and I'm um, searching for the particular ROM file in there. For me, I'm going to be clicking there. Again, if you guys have uh, external storage, a micro SD, you can go ahead and select that. That'll bring up your SD card storage but for me I'm gonna be using USB OTG I'm gonna go ahead and click OK and then I'm gonna locate my Galaxy S4 folder sorry for that notification sound in the background uh, and actually that's not what I meant to do Galaxy S4 let's get in there there it is I'm gonna go into my ROMs whoops 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 that's too much my ROM folder and there it is right there actually version ROM uh, version ROM version 3.1.1 so now that we're aware that we actually have that we can go ahead back to the home and we can click on the white button and this is actually gonna be white the um, data cache and Delvic so we're just gonna go ahead and swipe to wipe just like so this will take just a moment because the Galaxy S4 although is an older phone uh, now by today's standard it is still considerably fast so there it is it's all done so we can go ahead back to home back into our install locate our ROM file Go ahead and tap on that bad boy if it'll allow me. There we go. And then all we simply have to do is swipe to wipe. Now, generally speaking, with most AOSP-based ROMs, you would be flashing G apps afterwards. However, a lot of ROM developers um, are including G apps. It all kind of depends on the specific ROM, how popular it is, and so on. Kind of like Sanage and Model 11, you know, you need to flash the G apps package separately. But um, luckily, uh, a lot of these ROMs aren't as mainstream as those ROMs, so um, they it, it should be able to um, or they, they don't need GApps is basically what I'm trying to say. Sorry for the long-winded answer there. Um, anyway, so this is going to take some time to flash, so go ahead and be patient. We'll be back in just a moment as soon as it's done flashing. Alrighty, and as you can see, it flashed successfully. And in fact, if you take a look at some of the text, it says... Um uh, welcome to version ROM, version 3.1.1, a Google Play edition ROM. Mmm, um, tasty Kit Kat, get ready for a treat. <laughs> so there it is, guys. So after that, once we're at this stage, all you literally need to do is just simply click on the reboot system button, and that's it. And um, like I always mention, uh, the first boot will take a while. Uh, from ROM to ROM and device to device, it does take a little bit. Um, so be patient, it could take anywhere upwards of five minutes, though that's usually a rare occurrence. Um, once this is done, uh, booting up you will be booted into the setup wizard and from that point you can go ahead and set up your phone anyways guys that was pretty easy i hope you found this video useful and if you did click that likes button down below and if you're new to the channel subscribe for more videos like this in the future but that is it for now thanks as always for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one cheers